Um, where to begin here? <clears throat> I'm trying to nail down this idea of the difference between actually doing work, actually accomplishing things, and just gathering narcissistic supply. If you have a narc parent or if you have a narc, narc boss, um, this can be very tricky because a lot of times they demand these things of you and they have this sort of perfectionist standard but when it comes right down to it they don't actually care about what they're doing or what you're doing and if you're growing up in this environment it can be very tricky to understand um, what the true nature of work is what the true nature of accomplishing anything is um, So are you actually accomplishing uh, working or are you just gathering narcissistic supply? As a narcissist, as a survivor of narcissistic abuse, this is another one of the really important questions. Is what you're doing um, working or is it gathering narcissistic supply? And you say, well, if I'm the narcissist victim, why would I be, and I'm not a narcissist, why would I be gathering narcissistic supply? Because what happens is you get abused. When you get that abuse, when you get abused and you get abused and you get abused and you get told that you can't do anything right, nothing you do is right, in this perfectionist manner, you start to identify as a victim and then you identify yourself as a victim and you identify yourself with getting abused or getting mistreated or getting wronged and that becomes its own form of narcissistic supply and you are this close from being a narcissist but you're in sort of like a what they call like an inverted narcissist you start to identify with the victim role being the narcissist victim and this becomes its own form of uh, self-aggrandizement or narcissism Are we actually working or are we just gathering narcissistic supply? So, I guess the key point I want to raise with this is the more that you get denied the right to self-esteem, to feeling good about yourself, and you get raised or, or, or into this paradigm where the only way out of that is to get narcissistic supply, this is what the narcissists teach us. I'm going to give you all these negative feelings. The only way out is through me. It's through pleasing me or getting some narcissistic supply from being my victim. So you either please me as a slave or you're my victim. Well, this is only a paradigm that exists for people who are addicted to their own self-image. They don't feel good about themselves. There's some deep-seated issue that they're working on that they can't let go of. If you step out of the paradigm of being this wounded creature through healing, through meditation, through healing yourself, you get a solid foundation. And then the question is, how do I begin to actually live and function where I'm actually doing things, not just talking about doing things or seeing myself as somebody who does things in a way to get narcissistic supply. So really, with this video, I'm trying to point to you the difference between actually doing something and getting narcissistic supply. That there are two different things that uh, an entire huge swath of the population is addicted to getting narcissistic supply, thinking that they're doing actual work when all they're doing is reaffirming their own biases, confirmation bias, reaffirming their own self-image by putting somebody else down, this is the important thing. Narcissism always depends on hurting someone else, taking their energy, 
It's vampiric, as I've said many times in other videos. Draw the distinction if you're a narcissistic survivor and really look at whether what you're doing in life is a constant search for narcissistic supply, even as the victim, even in the victim role, or if you really are doing something. And in order to really do something, you have to step out of this woundedness, get all that squared away. No longer do I have any problems with my self-image, no longer do I have any problems with my self-esteem, I've, I've repented for my past misdeeds, I'm not covering anything up. And then we, then we can begin to talk about you actually doing something. And this narcissistic paradigm where there's all these people just looking around for attention and looking to suck up attention, that's just going to be there and you have to be okay with that. It's like a bar, it's like a pub. You just have to be okay with like, that's, that's where that is and I, I can be outside of it or I can be inside of it. And being able to step out and in of it, like being able to step out of it to say that what I'm doing now is about what I'm doing and it's not about how I feel about myself or my self image or who I believe myself to be. It's just about what it is, what it really is, what is there. And then you can begin to actually get productive and you won't be sucked. See, the reason narcissistic victims get stuck into these big lulls of energy is because unwittingly they're looking for narcissistic supply without going through the narcissist. So they're getting narcissistic supply from being a narcissist victim. So they're perpetually acting out this role of the victim and they never move on. So knowing that that's there and seeing it as just like a space or an energy field that is not you, but it's just there and being able to step out of it like a dream, like waking up from a dream into reality, waking up from the matrix. This is real life. 